Hello, Roman from Abbott Visions here, and I recently um, was reading through our comments on YouTube, and I got a question on how to set aperture when you're using extension tubes that do not, do not have electrical contacts. Now, I sold my bellows, so I don't have an actual example, but I could just tell you how to do it and show you. So, okay, um, I won't do this example with my 17 to 40 millimeter lens, simply because that is not the most common used lens for uh, Canon extension tubes anyway. The most common lens used is the 50 millimeter because it is so affordable and great at macro when you have extension tubes. So, okay, let's get this started. Okay. Alright, so First, you want to know what a DOF preview button is. Now, some Canon cameras have this... By the way, this technique will only work on Canon, so far as I know, because Nikon has a different system where it won't allow the lens to stay at any aperture besides the smallest aperture possible on that lens. So, if you have a Canon, this will work, or it should work, anyway. So, you set the aperture whatever you want to whatever you want. Let's say f of 8. And now you want your lens to have the aperture f of 8 set when you put them on your manual extension tubes. Now, if you turn off your camera, the lens automatically defaults to wide open. But, if you hold the DOF preview button, which on my camera, the 60D is right here, you can hear it move the um, blades inside, and then unscrew your lens at the same time, your lens will now be set to that aperture. It's an annoying process, but this is the only way to use manual extension tubes, and you can hear that... Um, it all nightly sets back to wide open when you put it back on the camera. Um, yeah, so do, put the lens on your camera first, set it to the aperture, hold the DOF preview button, unscrew the lens. Now some cameras don't have a DOF preview button, but if you go into the menus you can set it to the set button. So if you hold the set button and then unscrew your lens, it'll, it should still do the same thing. Okay, so um, I'll do this again. Turn on my camera, it's at f of 8, and I'll hold the preview button and unscrew the lens. I'm not sure if this camera I'm using to record is going to be able to focus so close, but you can see that the aperture is closed a little bit. Okay, so then all you would have to do is put the extension tubes on your camera, and then put the lens on your extension tubes or bellows, whatever you use. And there you go. I hope this has been a helpful video, and thanks for watching.